Hey, welcome to New York State Manufacturing Now, the podcast that's powered by Fusub. I'm your host, Steve Melito. Today we're talking to Chris Berry, Business Development Manager for Marquardt North America in Casanova, New York. Hey, Chris, welcome to the podcast. Hey, Steve. Thanks for having us. Our pleasure. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you come to work for Marquardt and how long have you been there? Okay, yeah. Thanks, Steve. So, um, yeah, Chris Berry working here at Marquardt uh, U.S., been uh, with the company 11 years. Um, originally, uh, a Syracuse guy, uh, left town to go to college, got my mechanical engineering degree, and started applying to different companies in the region. And Marquardt was one of the first companies to contact me. At the time, I had never heard of Marquardt. I had actually never even been to Casanova, which is about 20, 25 minutes away from Syracuse. But as soon as I came in, you know, I met with a lot of really interesting, talented people and, you know, they won me over right away. And it's, it's 11 years uh, since that point, And it's been a, it's been a great ride. Fantastic. Sure. Sounds like a great fit. Now you mentioned Casanova, which is in rural upstate New York, but that doesn't mean that Marquardt is small. In fact, Marquardt Group is a global company and you've got 11,000 employees worldwide. Can you give us a big picture view of the business? Yeah, so you're right. So we are in Casanova, New York, so that is a rural area. However, we are a global company. We do around 1.5 billion U.S. dollars annually. We have 21 locations in 14 countries, and we handle most topics for the kinds of products and systems that we create. We do most of that work internal. We have different types of product systems that we create, kind of our bread and butter areas. This would be things such as human machine interfaces, so something that a person can touch on a vehicle or a power tool or some form of a you know electrical system that gives a person an advantage of that machinery to, to actually control it. We create switching systems, we create wireless communication systems, so the ears and the mouth of the vehicle, we create devices that go into the field that can last in some of the harshest conditions for up to 10 years. We create lighting systems, so you may have seen in some of these um, really fancy European high-end vehicles, some of these new futuristic interiors with curved glass and, and lighting systems. Mark Marquardt creates and designs a lot of those systems, we create battery systems, we have sensors, we create pumps that go into products that you use at home, we create um, control systems for power tools. I mean, we, we literally have thousands and thousands of products that go into the everyday person's life. You, you just wouldn't know it, but we, we are literally everywhere. It's excellent. You're making stuff happen, and you're certainly involved in some large industries. You mentioned automotive, but the Casanova location also works with startups through something called Marquardt Partners. Why do you work with startups? You know, for me personally, I, I love working with people who are at startups. I think it takes a lot of courage to, to start a a new business or you know to leave the safety of the nine to five or to join these these industries um, I think there's a, a sort of magic with these people and, and for me personally they inspire me and they, and they make me want to try new things and push myself for Marquardt as a company from a business standpoint during this COVID era that we find ourselves in we really had to look to see what is it that we could do uh, within the region uh, within the United States more so that that lent itself well to our to our people and to our investments in our infrastructure and with some of these startups it's really amazing the variety that you find but to partner with someone that's at the beginning of their journey it's an amazing time to work with these companies to kind of help them avoid some of the common pitfalls to help them kind of accelerate their development process and get their product into the hands of their customers in a reliable fashion as quick as possible and also cost effectively I think that's a, a really important part of the story, you know, getting it out there and having it be profitable for them so that they can scale their business. Absolutely. And Chris, when I ask you, why do you work with startups? It's only mock surprise. We at Fusub do the same thing, of course. But I know that not all contract manufacturers do work with startups. In fact, some don't want to talk to them. So this makes you unique. 
Uh, your initiative, Marquardt Partners, provides what your website calls, quote, end-to-end manufacturing services. Can you tell us what that phrase means? What do you do, especially for a startup, to help them? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends really on the nature of the kind of product or systems that they're that they're looking to to, to generate or to create. Um, and we, we, we really try to find people and meet them where they are and try to help assess, like, what's that starting point? Like, where are you and where are you looking to go? And then we find a way to partner with these companies and so that we can take them from that starting point all the way to that finish line that they've defined. And so when we say end-to-end manufacturing, it's, you know, maybe it's a circuit board, maybe it's electronics, maybe it's a mechatronic system. We have the team and the talent here that can assess those systems. We can scale a solution that meets their budget and their needs. And then we find a way to help them to design for manufacturability in the most cost-effective way. We find the right suppliers within our network that will help them to realize their products. And then we find a way to produce those materials in a cost-effective way or sometimes in a a step-by-step process where you can scale up your manufacturing, where maybe it starts uh, where it's fully manual, but in the end, it's a fully automated process, and we can help get them through that journey. And so just taking them from that concept all the way to producing material, but then also handling, you know, those customer engagements. If if there's, say, um, something were happening with the product, we can interface with companies to help them to resolve those topics. And so we really help them from, from A to Z, I guess, is a way you could put it. Yeah, absolutely. You stick with them as they grow and they can grow with you. And, you know, I kind of want to come back to, um, you know, something that we share is we certainly both talk to a lot of startups and as part of the work I do for the Fuse Hub Manufacturer Solutions Program, I hear from a lot of startups that say they need a contract manufacturer, but what they actually need for where they're at is design for manufacturing assistance and maybe some prototyping help. Do you work with young companies like these? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I think that's where the the fun really starts. You know, you meet these people that have they have great ideas and and they come to us and say, you know, we're ready to go. You know, let's start producing. uh, Let's start producing a million of these a year. And we're like, okay, great. You know, share with us your technical materials. And then, you know, they might show us a technical drawing and, um, you know, things that might be more common for Marquardt might not be as common for others, such as gd and t on a technical drawing right like is this thing producible do you really need to have aerospace level tolerances you know on this product that you know maybe is a, is a toy for children right does it really require that because it's going to drive cost when it comes to electronics are you what kind of design guidelines are you using a schematics a schematic but when you do an actual layout on a board are you considering things like ceramic components and their placement to mounting features or to the edge of the board for flexibility on that board while being used in the real world and and that might lead to degraded performance and unexpected failures uh, in your customer's hands, which isn't going to really create that bond that you need to set, especially at that most critical time at the beginning of your relationship. And so we help you kind of, we'll call it measure twice and cut once. So you mentioned aerospace. Are there certain industries that you're especially interested in working with? For the people that are working with me on the on the business development team, we're really looking for companies within the U.S. that are working within the aerospace, drone, defense, and medical areas. We are also, we kind of have this large bucket that we call other, which um, many startup companies will fall into. But in terms of what we'll call the established businesses, really those would be the big four that we're focusing on. Okay, excellent. And let's talk a little bit about your manufacturing capabilities. I know that you do injection molding and electronic manufacturing, for example. Can you tell us more about the equipment that you have um, and how you use it? Yeah, so we have, as you mentioned, we have... uh Injection molding, electronic production capabilities. Um, So when it comes to injection molding, we work with companies to create 
materials that will go into, say, their larger assemblies or smaller assemblies. So this could be gears, it could be housings that encase your electronics. Sometimes these, you know, these don't need to be as pretty, uh, but in some cases, the appearance is extremely important. And so we're working with very high-end companies. We're very knowledgeable and experienced at surface finishes and making sure that products are looking as intended to the customer's expectations whether it's sealing features or ruggedness or when it comes to the injection molding really it's we help in the creation of the tooling we determine what kind of tooling is required is it a single cavity is it a multi-cavity what type of materials are you using is that the most cost effective is it meeting your needs for the field when it comes to electronic production how did you balance your design? Is it a single side? Is it is it a top and bottom side? Are you using components that are SMT or surface mounted or using the THT or, or through hole components, which may carry a, an associated cost with that and, and kind of navigate the companies to produce these kinds of materials or components. But in addition to this, we also design and produce our own assembly lines. We also design and produce our own end of line testers. And what these are doing is not only are we evaluating the product that's being produced in our facility at multiple steps along the way, we also do a final check and balance to make sure that the product is working electrically the right way. We have visual inspection to make sure that it's looking the proper way. We're doing an illumination uh, inspections where we're serializing each individual product for traceability. If a customer needs this, we could also be packaging these materials and, tr and tracking all of this through our SAP system and through our cloud systems. We also produce test fixtures. So we have our, our own on-site test facility. We're pretty spoiled here in Casanova. Uh, we, we really have everything that we need in one location, um, but we have the, the ability to do electrical testing. Uh, uh, we have the ability to do various environmental testing for the most extreme environments, or we try to simulate use cases for um, you know actuation and control and rotation of products. Really, we try to we try to cover our bases with our customers to make sure that we're giving it kind of that due diligence prior to releasing it into the wild. That's a lot of different services, very robust capabilities. And I think for startups, it's interesting to consider that, you know, you're also offering these same services to the big guys, to the big automotive manufacturers, for example, but they can get them as a startup. So talking about startups a little bit more, FuseHub has referred a few to Marquardt partners already. And don't mention any names if you don't want to or if you can't, but have any of these companies become customers for you? Yeah, yeah, certainly won't mention any, you know, the endorsement contracts haven't been finalized yet. So um, we'll, we'll keep it more high level. But yeah, absolutely, Steve. Um, we, we, we've we engaged with many, many companies. And, you know, thanks to you and to Eric and to Zach and the rest of the team at FuseHub, you know, you've done a, a great job at kind of helping to expand the Marquardt brand and to bring high potential companies to our attention. We've worked with some companies that are creating mechatronic products, so mechanical and electrical systems. We've talked to companies working in the medical industry. We've talked to some companies that are producing materials for packaging, biodegradable packaging. We've spoken with some companies that make really interesting and fun marketing products, um, which, was, uh, which has been a, a great experience as well. It's really been a pretty varied set of customers, but through FuseHub, I mean, we, we never would have come into contact with these types of companies. And so we at Marquardt have been extremely appreciative of the support that FuseHub has given, not only to us, but to these companies, uh, because I myself have tried to start companies on my own, and I didn't always know where to go. And I think that FuseHub is doing an excellent job at finding the right partners that, that help these companies have the best chance for success. Uh, Chris, thanks. We're very happy to have the opportunity to work with you, and you've been a great help already to these folks. So one last question for you. Um, last summer, FuseHub had the privilege of working with Marquardt Partners to redesign your website. And has that new website helped with awareness of your capabilities and maybe some lead opportunities? You know, abso absolutely, Steve. Uh, you know, we, we have, um, as we mentioned earlier, we are a global company. And so we, we have 
resources available for a web presence, but it's really as the as the Markor as a whole. And for this new type of business that we've been pursuing, I think it takes a new type of an approach to really match the type of energy that we've been going for. And you and your team had done an excellent job at, at really kind of capturing that that look and feel that we're looking to have. And it has brought in new customers for us. We 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 quite often that's that's the first touch point that we have with new customers where we may not even know that they exist. They go to the site and they say, you know what, this is the kind of company that I'm looking for that I think can help us get to that next level. And we we receive calls from companies all of the time, all around the country for some very interesting opportunities is the best way I could explain it. And uh, I think that's what helps keep it fun and fresh. And, uh, you know, definitely brand awareness and, and, and new potential leads and partners or even is a conduit for us to bring other business to companies within New York State. I mean, we quite often also match companies that approach us to other companies in the region. And so I think it's been great for building that New York State ecosystem. It's been great for Marquardt to expand our presence and, uh, and our reach. That's outstanding, Chris. It's music to my ear. Thank you so much for being on New York State Manufacturing Now. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Stephen. Thanks again to you and your team for everything you do for us. You bet. So we've been talking to Chris Berry, who is the business development manager for Marquardt North America in Casanova, New York. And if you'd like a connection to Chris, of course, you can go to the Marquardt Partners website, but FUSOP can help you get there, too. And if you're wondering, am I ready to engage that contract manufacturer? We'd be happy to have a conversation with you. We've got some great engineering support on staff, and we love to talk to startups. How do you do it? How do you work with us? Well, you just go to www.fusup.com and look for the Speak to an Expert button. It's in the middle of the homepage. Give it a click, complete the form, and you will hear back from a member of the Fusup Manufacturing Solutions Program. So on behalf of Fusub and New York State Manufacturing Now, this is Steve Melito signing off.